mental soundness. Um, we're talking about a 78 year old and an 81 year old here. It, I don't remember a time when this was a central issue in a presidential race case, but it is now. It is. Okay, so welcome back to XCOM 2. Everyone you look at shows the same thing that a majority of Americans, a plurality of Americans in some cases, do not believe that the president has the mental acuity. Um, I've even seen polls with Democrats where pluralities of Democrats think that you know, he shouldn't be the nominee for that reason. So when the American people are making this assessment, you have to ask why. When the special counsel, Robert Kerr, the only individual who has sat with him in long form, to that extent, because he doesn't do interviews, if he does, they're short. Robert Kerr sat with them for hours and said, you know, the same assessment. He, he was older. He was not entirely with it. We can all read the transcript, but denying reality, it's just not the best strategy in this case. So we're about a week away from the big debate on June 27th, the first presidential debate. And here is a new ad that the Biden team has put out. And I think we're going to hear quite a bit more of this. Let's give everybody a, a taste of what the campaign looks like. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. Effective message for Joe Biden? I think for his campaign to do that, that's one thing. For it to be in an ad, they're leaning into the only thing that they have. I think it would be folly for President Biden himself to lean into the convicted foul language on the debate stage. President Trump will weaponize that immediately. He will come in and say, see, I told you these were the Biden trials. It, it would be a huge mistake for Biden himself to use that language. He might do it. Reporting I've read indicates he may. I just wouldn't advise against it because you're playing to Donald Trump's campaign. It'd be fascinating. Uh, Kaylee, thank you so much. Always great to have you with us. Thanks for coming by today. So later this hour, Kayle, Kelly and Conway and Robert Wolf on the razor tight race heading into next week's big presidential debate. And breaking right now, breaking details from the NYPD on the illegal migrants suspected of a heinous sexual assault here in New York on a 13-year-old girl in a park in the middle of the afternoon. Fox 5's Rosanna Spato broke part of this story this morning. She has the very latest for us next. The charges are gonna be as follows. For a female victim, Rape, sex abuse, robbery in the first degree, menacing, unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping, endangering the welfare of a child, and possession of a weapon. For the male victim, robbery in the first degree, menacing, criminal possession of a weapon, unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping, endangering the welfare of a child. Working in close coordination to maintain a cohesive form. Why would I use kayak to go there? Hundreds of travel sites at once. I like to do things I can't fix anything else to do the job right. I have such one and done. Hi, Grandma. I played baseball today. Oh, that's great. What position did you play? First base. Oh, that's what my grandpa used to play. <laughs> when our hearing wouldn't allow us to use a regular phone, it made us feel isolated. It became difficult to communicate with my friends. Clear captions was an easy solution for us. Clear Captions provides captions on a phone, like captioning on your TV, so you can see what the caller is saying live as they say it. Making it easy to understand and respond immediately. There is no insurance or Medicare required. Clear Captions service is provided at no cost to you through a federally funded program. We deliver, install, and train you on how to use your phone, all at no cost to you. Give your loved ones the independence and connection they deserve. Call now to see if you qualify to get a clear captions phone at no cost to you. Call 1-800-690-1802. That's 1-800-690-1802. Oh, my people, sir, I just scheduled an appointment online and the inspection was agrees. They explained everything. We filter technology protect your gutters for good. Now, my home is protected. Call 833 filter or visit leaffilter.com. My hair was thinning all around my hair. My dermatologist recommended Nutrafol. It's 100% drug free and clinically tested. My hair is longer, thicker. Nutrafol is life changing. Get growing at Nutrafol.com. <laughs> These bills are crazy. She has no idea she's sitting on gold mine. She doesn't know that if she owns a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more, she can sell all or part of it to country for cash and get a turn policy. 
Miniature balls? Even Hunter! Find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. Call Coventry Direct today at 800 496 9200 or visit CoventryDirect.com. Take control of your health by boosting your force field, the immune system. Aura tells you when your temperature is higher than normal. Live smarter, stronger, healthier with the Aura Ring. All right, Joe Biden's day to day struggles, they continue, and so does the gaslighting from Democrats and the media mob. They don't like the truth. It is. Isn't it funny? Texas, where he's detained and placed under arrest uh, for entering the country illegally. Uh, he's then detained, and while he's waiting for processing, he basically he's like he's like go. Uh, he does indicate to us that he knew his time in this country was coming to an ear, and that he was going to have to leave soon after. But he did come to um, to the United States from Ecuador to Texas, which is consistent with uh, the way of migrant might travel. Sure is. Okay, joining me now, Rosanna Scott, anchor of Good Day New York. On Fox 5, who broke the news of the arrest and also hosted the sanctuary trap, an excellent um, series on Fox Nation. It was our great to have you with us today. Thank you so much, Martha, for the invitation. It's just an absolutely horrific crime. You just think about the impact on these poor 13 year old kids who went through this. Tell me about what happened this morning on Good Day New York. So, this morning on our show, Good Day New York, the uh, chief of patrol, Shell, was there along with the deputy commissioner cast off to, and they said they had a person in custody. And then they broke the news that the neighborhood actually helped in the apprehension of this man. And this is what happened. It really worked, worked hand in hand. The police were out there canvassing the last four days, handing out flyers, talking with people in the community, asking do they know who this person was. Now, the young woman who was 13 years old, she gave a very detailed description, especially of that tattoo. It was a very distinctive tattoo. The people in the neighborhood knew who he was. They knew him because they saw him about two weeks ago. This one guy in the neighborhood, his name is Jeffrey Flores, he waited outside this deli in Corona, uh, Queens, and he waited all day for him yesterday. Because somebody told him that he hangs out there or he out there? He saw him there at the deli. Wow. And sure enough, about 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, he sees the guy walking down the block. He lets him go in the deli, get whatever he's getting. He gets his friends outside and says, this is the guy, because they knew there was a $10,000 bounty on this guy's head. They grabbed him on the way out. He struggled. Uh, this guy, Jeffrey Forrest, had him in the headlock. It, it was a major struggle. They got a belt. They put it around his legs. I think they beat the heck out of him. Um, the man, uh, 
the migrant was screaming, help, help, help in Spanish. And according to Jeffrey Flores, he said, yes, and that's what the young girl was screaming too. Yeah, exactly. And he said he felt compelled to take this young man down, 25 years old from Ecuador, compelled to take him down because he has sisters and he has a daughter on him. You know, thank God for this uh, community's awareness. And, you know, this is what people don't understand. Like, New York is a community like everywhere else across this country. These people know that these young children were abused and terrified and this young girl raped. I, I mean, God bless her that she had the wherewithal to remember what was on that tattoo. And, you know, we all hope and pray that she will recover from this horrible, horrible event. But, you know, her, her neighbors took this guy down, which is extraordinary. They took him down and well, the police went there for four days. Yeah, canvassing the area, giving the information, handing out flyers. That sketch that they did was uncanny. It looks exactly like this guy. And um, that 13-year-old girl must be traumatized, but she was able to give very important details. And the young boy that was with her, her school chum, also 13 years old, gave very important details, and the community came to get I saw former uh, President Trump, you know, say that, you know, he, he, he was very angry about this, he, about the people coming in from the jails. He said, um, you know, he grew up right here. He said, you know, it's very good to wear it. Um, he grew up. So um, I, I just want to, you know, obviously send out a to him. What about this mask issue in New York? Um, Kathy Hochul. <laughs> You know, we just reversed the whole congestion pricing thing. She's going back on it. Number of so this was put in place during COVID, and now they want people to take off masks in public. We're never allowed to walk on the street with a mask on before COVID. And I, I think it's a fantastic idea. Yeah. I think Mayor Adams uh, is in favor of it. If you notice, when people pass those um, illegal smoke shops in New York City now, they have a big sign on do not come in with masks and do not come in with hoodies. They won't let you in because they're robbing the places. And, you know, some of the people who were involved in some of the robberies on um, these illegal mopeds with no license, unregistered, they also have masks on. How do you, how, what's the recourse? How do you find them? They're anonymous, you know, and they can't figure out who they are. They're anonymous. You know, I mean, it, it's a bit encouraging, I guess, if we start sort of taking back the, these sort of modes of behavior. I mean, I saw a video this morning about these people just Smashing, grabbing an entire jewelry store, masks on, but you shouldn't be able to walk on the street like that. Here's Kathy Hochul, the mayor, on how this new rule will be applied. Watch. There will be exceptions for health. There will be exceptions for religious observance. There will be exceptions for uh, religion, for uh, cultural festivities. There should be, you know, some deterrent for people committing criminal activities. Do you really want someone with a mask on walking in the bank? You know, we have to be smart about protecting our businesses and our, and our riders on subways from harassment as well. Well, listen, I think it's a great step. How do you enforce it? We have so many people on the streets of New York. I mean, New Yorkers know what's going on on the streets of New York City. Yes, crime is down, but robberies, they feel like they're happening. Assaults, they're happening. You see these people on these markets. I'm going to get back to that. The e-bikes. They're, they're, you know, hitting people, taking off their masks, no license plate, no recourse. No ID. Uh, in a lot of these situations, we have a gang issue um, that's going on. So um, we hope we can take back the city and uh, all the cities across the country who've been really plagued by this. And we hope that this young man, young boy, and girl um, will fully recover from this horrible incident. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. So, coming up tomorrow, President Trump plays blame for the shocking murder of Rachel Warren, the mother of five, on President Biden's failure to contain the border crisis. We will speak in a moment with Rachel Warren's mom, Patty, exclusively. Next. Target package secured. Start your day with Nature Man, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. We handcraft every student and foster using the finest materials like indulgent memory and ultra informed inner for a beautiful mattress and indescribable comfort. Shop now 
and save $400 on select Stearns and Foster mattresses. A vacation starts with how you get the whole private event experience from one flight's magic. We gotta see this. Finding your itinerary, search from over 5,000 ways. Hey, and you're on your way. Nothing better than a personalized meal on board. A great vacation always starts with your flight experience. Oh, we're probably good flight. Attention former Marines and family members stationed to Camp Lejeune. If you live or work to Camp Lejeune, North Carolina for at least 30 days from August 1953 to December 1987 and have been diagnosed with cancer, neurobehavioral effects, and a child born with birth defects, or been diagnosed with fertility issues or more, significant compensation may be available. Call Legal Injury Advocates now to process your administration claim before the August 10th, 2024 deadline. Call 1-800-971-7272. Somebody would ask her something and she would just walk right past me. Oh. <laughs> she didn't know they were talking so much. I just could not hear. I was hesitant to get the hearing aids because of her short hair, but nobody people sees them. Our newly invisible hearing aids are just one reason we've been grounded for over 75 years. When I finally could hear for the first time, I could hear everything. Call 1 800 234 7090 to schedule a free year evaluation and unlock our best year of the year. The savings sharing your family story. You know, I've often said, doctors, we've been a significant consumer of health care and a lot of time in hospitals for our family. I, anyway, and uh, I always said that doctors mentioned that nurses make you well. Not a joke. A lot of time in ICU, a lot of time, I saw a lot of time. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, if there's any angels in heaven, Men and women, not a joke. But thank you that you did help us get through the pandemic, pal, and for all you're doing for our country. My name is Joe Biden. I'm Joe Biden's husband. Next to all members of Congress, the Public Security Secretary. I'm not sure. But all came aside, Secretary Marcus, as well as Secretary Sarah, and advocates and families from law enforcement, faith leaders, everybody's just here. Two weeks ago, I did what Republicans in Congress refused to do. I took action to secure our border. That included restricting unlawful crossings at our southern border, making decisions on asylum more quickly, and so much more. And so far, it's working. Since we've been on my order, Encounters have dropped 25% of them. And we're seeing the lowest number we've seen in a long time. 
play close. We took this step after the bipartisan agreement on the most conservative Republican senators that helped work through a four or five year period. The strongest bipartisan security agreement that's ever been seen. But we were about to move forward. The Republicans walked away from the deal for the most pathetic and petty of reasons. Donald Trump got on the phone with Ludovic and started an press conference and calling his, and calling his family and saying, don't, don't go ahead and do this. Don't support this legislation. That has bipartisan support. And uh, what he asked, when he asked why, he said it wouldn't, it would hurt him politically and help me instead. So much for Republicans caring about the border. I also know many people in this room also have concerns about steps I've taken. I heard and respect from many, many people behind me of the concerns you feel that the President and I had to take these actions. Every nation must secure its border. It's just that simple. Now, Trump and the Republicans wouldn't do it working with me, and I would do it on my own. And I did. At the time, I took these steps to secure the border. I also said, that I would move to fix problems that made the immigration system unfair, unjust, and provisions that simply made no sense at all. Specifically, steps that would be good for dreamers, married couples, and for America. That's why we're here today. A few days ago, we marked the 12th anniversary of taking care of dreamers that, that President Obama and I put in place. There are a few of these, immigrant, or these immigration areas that have had most positive area, impact and gotten more support from the American people across the board. These young people, known as dreamers, Hispanic, South Asians, and more, who came to America as children, only know America as their home, have been able to live and learn out of the shadows, out of the shadows. So many of them have graduated from high school and college, and are starting families on their own, building successful careers, serving our nation in uniform, and so, so much more. A much better and stronger nation because of them, probably, but just to reduce so today I'm announcing new measures to clarify and speed up work visas to help people, including dreamers, have graduated from U.S. colleges and universities, land and jobs Fuck. and high demand high school professions that we need to have to grow to see our economy. I needed that engineer. economy in the world, with the best workforce in the world. We've already created 15 million new jobs, a record. We're seeing record economic growth, a record of small business growth. And I doubt why the action we're taking today matters. If you wonder about that, just ask business leaders, ask labor leaders, ask economists, ask elected officials. They know it's good for American business. They know it's good for the American economy. They know it's good for America, period. This stuff builds on other actions we've taken to support people. From defending dreamers in the courts and expressing and expanding access to health care for millions of Americans under the Affordable Care Act, including for dreamers. The second action I'm announcing today is about keeping families together. My dad used to have an expression, he said, Joey, families about the beginning, middle, and the end. Of keeping couples together who are married, where one spouse is a U.S. citizen, the other is undocumented. They've been living in the United States for at least 10 years. These couples have been raising families, sending their kids to church and school, paying taxes, contributing to our country for every for 10 years or more. Matter of fact, the average time they've spent here is 23 years. People are But living in the United States all this time, there's fear and uncertainty. We can fix that. And that's what I'm going to do today. Separates families. 
Under the current process, undocumented spouse of U.S. citizens. I don't like those questions. For example, Mexico, for example, fill out paperwork, obtain long term legal status. They have to leave their families in America with no assurance to be allowed back in the United States. So they stay in America, but in the shadow, living in constant fear of deportation without the ability to legally work. All this, even though under the law today, they are eligible for long term legal status. Today I'm announcing a common sense fix, streamline the process for obtaining legal status for immigrants married to one day who live live here, lived here for a long time. For those wives or husbands and their children who have lived in America for Excellent. this action will allow them to file paperwork for legal status in the United States. Allowing them to work while they remain with their families in the United States. Let's be clear. This action still requires undocumented spouses to file all required legal paperwork to remain in the United States. It requires them to pass a criminal background check. That doesn't apply to anyone trying to come here today. It only applies to this action is a better way. It doesn't tear families apart or requiring every undocumented spouse to fulfill their obligation to Look, the action I'm announcing today will go into effect later this summer. And by the way, just as was true for the protection of dreamers, the steps I'm taking today are overwhelmingly supported by the American people, no matter what the other team says. In fact, polls show over 70% of Americans support this effort to keep families Consulting. 
and Robert Wall, former Obama advisor. Both are Fox News contributors. Great job, both of you, um, with us today. Kelly, let me start with you. Your reaction to this executive order? Um, I thought it was interesting. At the beginning of his comments, the president said, you know, that he was celebrating the passage of this, but then he said, oh no, it's an executive order. Kelly. Yes, and that's what DACA was. Even President Obama's time said, I feel like this will be overturned or this won't stand muster because it's an executive action, not legislation. They've not been able, even Martha, when they've had the democratically controlled House and Senate, they've not been able to get this through, which tells you all you need to know. Look, he can lie and let the lies fly from that podium all he wants. Uh, the last part of what he said about detention camps and ripping spouses from each other that Donald Trump has promised this, these people are lying. <coughs> They're lying about this energy, acuity, ability, agility we can see for ourselves based on your first segment today, Martha. And now they're lying about what Donald Trump is saying, but it doesn't matter. Because Joe Biden's worst approval ratings on any issue is Israel Hamas and his handling of the border. This is way too little, way too late for a guy who now owns things like the rape of a 13 year old because that guy comes here illegally on Biden's watch. He owns Lake and Riley's murder. And I'm gonna make, personally, all these people eat and own all the Democratic failings and failings on the border. Jay Johnson, President Obama's Homeland Security uh, Director, said that he can't imagine a thousand crossings a day. We're so way past that quaint, pristine number. We're taking a break. into a big crisis and evasion and that's why this issue is top of mind. When people say solve the border crisis, they're talking about fentanyl. They're talking about the unfairness of giving illegal migrants cash and cell phones and clothing and hotel rooms and, and free pass. They're not talking about whatever this guy is talking about. And I would love to see responsible, smart Democrats like Robert Wolf stand up and say, this is, this is bull. And stop lying about what President Trump has said. Is Joe Biden going to lie at the debate next week like he did last time about Hunter's laptop and Russian disinformation? Is the big lie to fly next week in that debate this nonsense? Lying that Donald Trump has put people in detention camps? It's crazy and it has to stop. They're lying for the podium at the White House. Well, let's give Robert a chance to respond. Hi, Robert. Welcome. Thank you. Well, coming in always does great at giving a great dad for the Trump uh, campaign. I hope they pay her a lot of money for that. Um, it would have been great if they listened to her on. It would have been great if they listened to her on Roe v. Wade, where the president continues to go on and say, "I take full credit for ending Roe v. Wade." Rita Kellyanne was not for the way the Republicans have been talking about. She even went and spoke to them, and now the president's all mixed up. The former president whether he's for state or federal, 15 weeks or six weeks. Listen, there's a debate coming up, and there's a great debate to be had. There's a real contrast. There's a contrast on taxes. You have President uh, Trump, former President Trump, talking about 100% tariffs. Full inflation will have, unemployment will skyrocket, wages will go down. Even Republican economists are saying this is nuts. We can talk about Roe v. Wade. We know where the Republican Party is. That's why in all the elections since the office, for the most part, Republicans have lost by six to eight points versus the polls. I think we're at an inflection point, and next week we're going to be able to really see the differences between the two. I think President Biden has stood up for democracy, and I think today is all about democracy. I'm not going to call it about lying and this and that. I think he's taken an executive action because Republican Senator Langford couldn't get past his bipartisan bill, even though that really, if you had an up and down vote, it would have passed. All right, um, because of the breaking news, I'm, I'm, we have to leave it there, but great job. Um, and I'd love to have you back because we have a lot to talk about as we head into this debate. I think Robert just gave us a perfect de demonstration of the quick pivot from the question of the border to abortion. Um, and I think that's exactly what we're going to see when the border, which is obviously a very weighty issue, 60% of the country is in favor of the country is in favor of mass deportation. I don't think we've ever had a number like that. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Thank you both very much uh, for hanging in there with us today during this um, breaking news from the White House, Julianne and Robert, many things. So when we come back, we will have an opportunity to hear from Patty Warren, whose daughter was brutally murdered by an illegal immigrant. Rachel Warren lost her life in the most heinous way, and now there has been an arrest made, and this individual tried over and over again to get into this country after he was already being looked for 
uh, as a homicide um, attack, as a you know, homicide in Scotland. So we'll be right back. Oh, we'll be right back. The bike riders. We'd have to kill me to get this jacket off. It's electrifying. Four stars. I'll bust this in summer with me. The bike riders see the daughter only engaged this Friday. She has no idea she's sitting on a gold mine. She doesn't know that if she owns life insurance policy of one hundred thousand dollars or more, she can sell all one more of it to Dodge me for cash. Even a term policy. Even a term policy. Even a term. Not good. Find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. Call Coventry Direct today at eight hundred four nine six ninety two hundred, or visit CoventryDirect.com. The darkness of bipolar depression made me feel like I was losing interest in things I love. Then I found a chance to let in the light. Discover Capilita. Unlike some medicines that only treat bipolar 1, Capilita is proven to deliver significant symptom relief from both bipolar 1 and 2 depression. And in clinical trials, movement disorders of weight gain were not common. Capilita can cause serious side effects. Call your doctor about sudden mood changes, behaviors, or suicidal thoughts right away. Antidepressants may increase these risks in young adults. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Capilita is not approved for dementia-related psychosis. Report fever, confusion, or stiff muscles, which may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. Common side effects include sleepiness, dizziness, nausea, and dry mouth. These are all the side effects. In the darkness of bipolar 1 and 2 depression, Capilita can help you let in the light. Ask your doctor about Capilita. Find savings and support at Capilita.com. J.D. Vance is live on Special Report. The Senators breaking down the 2024 race and the key issue swaying voters. Brett is the exclusive interview tonight.
uh, lead candidate for the GOP takes the stage there, I will dip in and take a look at that. In the meantime, a subject that is no doubt going to come up in Wisconsin today is this and stories like it. The suspect in the killing of a 37-year-old mom of five young children has waived his right to extradition and he will be headed to face trial. Authorities say that they just found him casually sitting at a bar in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Here he is in front of a sports bar billboard in his yellow t-shirt. He crossed the border illegally last year, tried a few times uh, to get in and stay in. He is wanted for murder back home in El Salvador. Um, he, by all accounts, in terms of the things he has done, including uh, an assault on a little girl in Los Angeles, a monster of a person. He is indeed the one who is behind all of these heinous attacks. Former President Trump placing blame on President Biden and the open border. And now that on day one, he would shut that border down and he would start deporting millions of Biden's illegal criminals. Those are the words of former President Donald Trump. Um, grateful to be joined by Patty Moore, the mother of Rachel Warren, who was tragically killed for just after a job at a place that she used to run all the time in Maryland, the Mon Trail, and she joins me now, Patty. I, my condolences uh, for the loss of your daughter. I'm so sorry to you and your family for what has happened. Absolutely. It's a good mission. You know, a lot of the cover of the New York Post, um, it, it has a beautiful picture of your daughter, and the headline is Open Border Killer. And I wonder, you know, obviously your loss is, is first and foremost, but now that they have arrested this individual, when you see a headline like that, open border killer, what goes through your mind? Uh, a couple of things. Um, one, they're using my. Uh, and this is going to, I don't know how this is going to come across, but I'll just say the way it is. They're using my daughter like a political flag. And by, uh, I don't want to underestimate the importance of what's going on the border. We're almost 2,000 miles away from it, and we've had two murders in the county that I live in and Rachel lived in. So it has come all the way up, um, halfway up from the southern border, the United States. Um, but with that said, I don't want them to take my daughter's name and put it on a flagpole for a political reason, because she's more than just a statistic. She was a mother and a daughter and um, someone that was very dearly loved. And I don't want to reduce her life to just a political name, if that makes sense. And I don't think that people, um, when they hear these um, murders caused by illegal immigrants, um, you know, they would, um, use it for whatever side they're on. And it kind of devalues the life of the person. And I really want people to understand that life itself is valuable and precious. And that that's what we need to preserve. And that's what makes this an American crisis, not just a political um, crisis. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Um, which is why I, I said, you know, I'm sure this isn't the most important part of this story for you, uh, because you're just suffering from the loss of your daughter, and her children have lost their mother. I know she has an 18-year-old daughter um, who's also expecting uh, a child, and the family is growing, and she should be there to see all of this. So um, I, I thank you very much for coming on and reminding everybody that these are individuals who have families, um, whose lives have been taken and cut short um, by violent, violent acts. And um, the fact that this person is here illegally is certainly part of the story um, because it goes to a bigger picture issue in the country, but she is your daughter. And we um, yeah, please know that our, our, our hearts are with you um, as you struggle through all this. And we are glad that at least the loop has been closed on apprehending her killer, the police believe. So I want to thank Patty for joining us today. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. You're welcome. 
So we're here right now. This is a new video of people here in New York City holding down the suspect in the rape of a 13-year-old girl until the police could come and arrest him. We heard this story from Rosanna Fara earlier. Um, the attack happened in a park in the broad daylight in Queens, New York, and the neighbors recognized the guy from the help from the wanted pictures, and they took him down. Police say that the suspect is a migrant from Ecuador who crossed the border illegally three years ago, and that story we continue to get more information on, but thank goodness in this case, uh, this um, perpetrator is also in custody. Coming up, influential Detroit rapper Icewear Bezo tells us why Donald Trump has his book in also a very tight, very important electoral state. We'll talk about the dynamics, what's on his mind, what he wants for the future next. I'm voting based on personal experience. I've experienced Trump as president. I've experienced Joe Biden as president. And I like the way I, I like Trump as president more. This bathroom is so musty. Everybody's new fast acting drop in cap attracts and traps excess moisture, eliminating musty leaves. Veteran homeowners, need cash but worried you can't get a home loan because of your credit? Here's great news. At New Day, we've been granted automatic authority by the VA to make our own loan approval decisions. In fact, if you've had credit challenges and missed a payment along the way, you're more than five times more likely to get approved for the New Day 100 VA Cash Out Loan. No one knows veterans like New Day USA. Call 1-844-625-4552. This is our future mom, GoDaddy Aero. Creates a logo, website, even social posts in minutes. Now, AI. AI. Different mission. Get your business online in minutes with GoDaddy Aero. Aluminum lightning strips. No peroxide? No pen. I can use them every day if I want. Eat what I want, drink what I want, pop an aluminum strip, and hello, my smile is back on point. Eat. The best things in life come in twos. Two scoops of ice cream, two thumbs up. And now, buy any phone when you switch to consumer cellular and get two months of service free. That's right, two months free. All the fast, reliable nationwide coverage. Make the switch today. I managed to get the last room for 190 bucks. I booked the last room a week ago. I booked yesterday. Some sites panic you into booking their last room. Instead, Travaco compares hotel prices from hundreds of sites, so you can save up to fifty dollars a night. Hotel Travaco. I joined the army in 2004. In the later part of my military service, I operated as a civil affairs team leader in special operations. Our job was to effect change with the mission of defeating. ISIS. We, we were doing routine combat patrol where we were at one of the schools where girls had returned to school. We were getting ready to return home. ISIS saw that they were losing control, um, losing their grip on the people, uh, that they targeted my team uh, for an assassination. An ISIS suicide bomber and squeezed his way into my team and, and detonated a suicide bust. It's a bad day. I had a total of 22 life-saving surgeries over uh, two years that I spent in the hospital. We were worried. We didn't know how we were going to pay for the house or even continue to pay our mortgage. That's when the Tunnel Power Foundation stepped in and said, we have a solution for your problem. You don't have to worry about having to get money from the house because Tunnel Power Foundation is going to help us make this for everyone. I was very emotional about wanting to see the Jonathan and his family come to their new home because they were spend so many happy moments. Um, Actual team. Hello, I'm Major Jonathan Turnbull, United States Army retired. The Tunnel Towers Foundation built me a smart home that will give you more independence and better quality of life. I am asking you to build me $11 a month 
so that T2T can help others that will be here while protecting you. Please visit T2T.org or call 1 844 Ravis. So, former President Trump about to hold a rally in the crucial battleground state of Wisconsin this hour. It follows a visit to Detroit, where the former president sought to build on his momentum with black voters. Outreach critics and are blasting all of this outreach as disingenuous. Watch. I call it black blackstone turfing at this point, right? Like they're they're literally trying to create this fake black grassroots movement, and part of it is around trying to lure people in with cash and say, "Hey, look, we're going to dangle this Trump money at you." Okay, I'm joined now by Detroit rapper Ice Romezzo. He says that he supports former President Trump, posting this picture with him at an event this weekend, saying in part, I met him as a man and a father who understands the only way to attempt to change things is to address things. And he joins me now. Ice, good to have you with us. Thank you very much for joining me today. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Um, you heard Joy Reid there. It, you know, she says that this is black turfing. And basically, you know, throwing money at black voters in an attempt to get their support. What, do you, what would you say to her? I think that's absurd, and I think that's that's not okay to throw those type of ideas out there as if we got paid to support mm-hmm. anyone. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's absurd. It's ridiculous, you know. Uh, and she was it's some, sometimes a lot of Democrats assume that that, that we're supposed to just vote by. And I feel a lot of votes should be worked for. I feel like our parents blindly voted for generations, but I think this generation is now understanding that we have to ask questions, and our votes should be worked for. We should not just blindly vote because people say uh, well, it's cool or, or tell us who to vote for because they want us to vote based on personal feelings. And I'm, I vote based on the personal experience. I've experienced both presidents. I, I haven't fully endorsed. I vote just yet on, on Donald Trump, just to not just yet, but I am leaning that way. You know, I've experienced both presidents as president, and in my personal experience, my life was differently when Trump was in office. My family's life was different, the economy was different, and I actually care about the board. You know, uh, I don't think that is fair that, 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 that she say that, because that's basically saying if it's the only, the only way we will lean in any way outside of a, a, a vote and voting. Democrat is the money like that. That's ridiculous. That's not fair and it's not cool. I actually have sense. We have sense. We have enough sense to ask questions. Not everybody that makes music or everybody that's from the trenches or the ghetto, we're not all fools. We, we, you know, we don't do everything about money. No, I did not get paid. I'm just someone that I, I, I'm on the I haven't always been able to vote, but now I'm able to vote and I want to take it back to my voting power and I would like to ask questions. And the crazy thing is that, you know, my entire life, my family, my, the generations before my mother and my father were they always, but they didn't ask questions, but I decided to ask questions, and this is what it is. So you just talked about the fact that you weren't always able to run. You looked up, too. Running with the law in your past. Um, what do you make of the conviction that um, President Trump uh, saw here in New York? Does that have that impact on you? I don't know enough information about his condition. I'm, I'm a felon and I've changed. I know people can change, but again, it's not about personal feelings. It's about the, I, I'm not I'm not deciding on who's a better person, President Biden or President Trump. That's not for me to decide. I don't know neither one of those candidates personally. I'm, I'm voting based off personal experience. I don't know either one of these guys. I mean, People change. It, 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 it doesn't affect my vote, okay. and I'm not sure. If thank it, you, uh, Ace. Uh, I'm up against a heartbreak, and I really want to thank you. I hope you'll come back and talk to us again soon. Um, that is the story for today. All right, thank you, Martha, very much. Uh, Donald Trump's crazy Wisconsin. Moments from now, he's going to be rallying in a key state uh, as President Joe Biden asks some sweeping new protections for migrant spouses and U.S. citizens. No matter the state that they're from or living in now, it is all putting migration front and center, the border front and center of Election Day, if you can believe it, 20 weeks from today. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Kavuto. Glad to have you. I don't the even sure I have that anymore. Wisconsin, uh, this is always a state that is as close as a tick between the major candidates. It has been in the last few presidential elections. Polls are looking equally tight right now. Let's go to Brian Dennis in Red State with more. Hey, Brian. 
Hey, Dale, well, there are several thousand Trump supporters that are here in Racine, Wisconsin, just ahead of uh, comments with a rally we're expected to start at any moment here. I'll give you a sense of what it looks like here on the coast of beautiful Lake Michigan. Uh, these folks are expected to hear former President Trump hammer President Biden on immigration and inflation, two issues that he leads by double digits over President Biden, uh, when, according to our polling here in Wisconsin. Uh, this could be the first time we hear the former president comment on that new executive order by President Biden. Already we're seeing Republicans online saying that instead of mass amnesty, we need mass deportation. The former president commenting exclusively to Fox Digital earlier today about a case out of New York City where an illegal immigrant from Ecuador was charged with raping a 13-year-old girl in broad daylight in Queens, New York. He crossed the border illegally in 2021. Trump telling Fox Digital exclusively, quote, I grew up right near there. Something like this was unthinkable years ago. Unthinkable. These are Biden libraries. They're flooding our country. It will get worse or worse unless I'm elected president. We spoke to voters lined up today here in Racine, Wisconsin. A state Trump lost by fewer than 21,000 votes in 2020. These Trump supporters told us they came to today's rally largely because of the border crisis. Now, we've got a lot of criminals come across the border. I mean, people, look at all the people that are dying. They're getting murdered. So, it's, people aren't safe anymore. They can't even walk around. They can't even go jogging without getting murdered. What is it about the border that has you concerned? Just that they're not able to get <coughs> coming in. The safety issues. Hey, the former president will also hammer President Biden on gas prices, which have risen by over a dollar a gallon in Wisconsin since Biden took office in 2021, up to $3.28 a gallon. Former president, the former president will also hit Biden on the inflation of consumer products in general, food, shelter, energy, transportation, all up about 20% here in uh, the Midwest since Biden took office. A new mayor's poll out today has Trump and Biden tied nationally voters and tied among young voters under the age of 45 Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan are near much place for President Biden if he plans on winning re-election. And look, uh, you, know, you know, senior citizens could very well make the difference here in Wisconsin. There are more than a million senior citizens living in Wisconsin, one in every five people. Many of them on fixed incomes expect the former president to touch on that here. Yeah. Brian, thank you very much for that. We're not going to go back to my friend when the former president starts speaking. Let alone Rich Edson right now, because the president of the United States, the president of the United States, the whole office and wants to stay there another four years. There's a champion effort right now to make half a million illegal responsibilities being deported, but there is a special connection to the U.S. Um, well, yeah, this is a new policy that the administration has just announced. President Biden did so. Um, what is about the 12th anniversary of DACA here from the East Room of the White House. Basically what this new order does, or this new policy does, is it protects from deportation about a half a million people in the country. To qualify, a person would have to be in the United States for 10 years and legally married to a U.S. citizen as of yesterday. They also cannot have a criminal record. And the White House says this policy would also apply to about 50,000 children younger than 21 whose parent is married to a U.S. citizen. Normally, a migrant married to an American citizen would need to return to their home country to apply for legal residency here. The president's policy today changes that. Most of our new recruits have never worked. There's already a system in place for people we're talking about today. But the process is cumbersome, risky, and separates families. Two weeks ago, the administration announced it was limiting asylum application at the border. Immigration activists called the White House anti-freedom, anti-family, and anti-America a couple of weeks ago while they applauded today's action. Republicans say Biden's policies amount to just non-enforcement. It's another stop to be the pro-amnesty crowd. This is the most pro-amnesty open borders president in American history. Now, the White House press secretary was asked just a couple of hours ago whether today's announcement was a counterweight to the more restrictive border announcement that he had from a couple of weeks ago uh, Green Jean-Pierre said she wouldn't look at it that way. Neil? All right, thank you very much. Uh, Rich Edson on all of that. The president, for his part, is saying you can do things like this and also crack down at the border. In fact, he's saying in the last couple of weeks since he's done so, there have been dramatic results. Take a look. Two weeks ago, I did what Republican Congress refused to do. 
I took action to secure our border. That included restricting unlawful crossings at our southern border, making decisions on asylum more quickly, and so much more. And so far, it's working. Since we've been under my order, the encounters have dropped 25% at the border, and we're seeing the lowest number we've seen in a long time. Corey, that was a surprising number to us. We just wanted to check that, and uh, we would know better than the uh, Chris Alvarez, the Department, uh, the Texas Department of Public Safety. And so, Chris, uh, the, the border crossings, uh, you can see, you know, they're, they're, they're down now 25%. Is that true? Well, good afternoon again. Yeah, so, border crossings are down, especially in the last three days. They've been well below. Uh, 3,000 now, of course. Again, this is all politics. We know that for a fact that believe, I know that the people are well aware of what's taking place. And by some of those comments, the question should be raised is, if you're able to take executive action now, why not take why not take executive action on day one when there was policies in place to prevent the worst, most critical loss that we have ever experienced in our history? So those are questions that need to be raised. Also, questions need to be raised from the families and victims that have been victimized by criminal legal immigrants that have been released to the country. Uh, we, you know, most recently, these two 13-year-old teenagers that were sexually assaulted by criminal legal immigrants, uh, those are questions that the American people want to know. So when, when we talk about this 25% drop in, 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 in these border-related encounters, um, you, you can quite argue, as you just did, I mean, that this is maybe Late, but, but it does the with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. You know, you know right now, our work in the special with in Texas, I mean, for one, there should be zero on the border crossing. Even 2,000, 2,500, that's still not sustainable. I'm um, still looking at well over 900,000 illegal border crossings. In Texas. And first off, there should be something in place to prevent anyone from seeking asylum to cross between a port of entry. The legal way is to go to a port of entry where it's much safer, that it not prevent any type of criminal, criminal action either. Criminals that are coming across the border that are no to the country right now. That's where we need real action, real solutions. And many of these families and victims that have been victimized by some of these criminal immigrants, they want those answers. Condolences can only go so far. These are families, the American people, they want action. They want real solutions, not during a political year, but they want solutions right now. So when they talk about this decline in crossings and the like, uh, is that because some of the asylum cases are being re-adjudicated? What's, what's accounting for that? Are you, is your men and women capturing more and having the ability to do that, or, or what? You know, that's a great question here. I hope that the federal government can answer. I can tell you that in Texas, you know, ever since January, illegal border crossings in Texas are down more than 74 percent because of our efforts, because of the fact that we have national bond soldiers that are placing physical bears along the river, because we're making a rest, we're actually applying consequences to all the violence they law, and we saw this shift, this dramatic shift out to the West, California, Arizona, where Demolition is having for it. Yeah. Chinese nationals, people from the Middle East and Africa that are coming across those areas, because there is no consequences, there is no National Guard, it all goes back to what are the states doing to protect their states? And of course, when we launched Operation Lone Star uh, back in March of 2021, these are the efforts because of that, because of what Governor Apple has been able to do, because of that leadership, we are seeing that a decrease stop. It all goes back to the also, why now? Why actually put an executive action order right now when you could have done it from day one that would, that would have prevented so many other tragedies that have taken place over the years, so many other victims that we could have saved because of the disastrous border policies. That's it. The question needs to be raised. Of course, we don't know why or what's causing this, this decline, but I can venture to say that it has something to do with a political year, being a political year, and we have to wait to see what's going to happen with the new office. Yeah, I mean, just hope it continues. To your point, I'm going to Chris Aldar, it's very good to see you again, Chris. Thank you very much. Again, it depends on where the border you look. Of course, we talk about the Texas side of it with Mexico, but of course, there is uh, California, from the California, we have our built illusion. There's some numbers of a different sort of being registered bill. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. Unlike what you just heard from Lieutenant Olivares with Texas locking down its state, securing its border, none of that happening here in Sanctuary State, California, where there is zero resistance whatsoever at the state level here in Macomba. We'll show you what we're talking about. Take a look at this video we shot earlier this morning. This is a group of predominantly Chinese nationals that just 
walked in illegally right here where we're standing in this combat area. We continue to see large numbers of Chinese nationals coming in day in and day out. Big language barrier for these uh, border patrol agents out here to deal with. There was no agents around, as you can see in this video, uh, when we shot it when this group walked in. But uh, that wasn't the only group. Take a look at this video. We shot same spot 1 a.m. this morning while everyone's sleeping during the overnight hours. The cartels are pushing bodies across here in this San Diego sector. Once again, people from all around the world crossing illegally. Middle of the night, more men from China, more men from India. Um, and this is something that we see play out very often at 1 a.m. out here in Kakamba. It's the time that cartels like to push people across the border. Uh, and that certainly wasn't it as well. Take a look at this, Neil. Another group of Chinese nationals had crossed illegally. There's several dozen of them, about 30 or so. Um, and what we've noticed with the Chinese nationals is a lot of them bring these paper IDs that they print out. You might see them as they're getting processed by Border Patrol. They don't really bring their passports. They bring these paper IDs. Uh, China doesn't share information on its citizens, so it's hard for Border Patrol to vet these folks. We know little to nothing about them, uh, but the Chinese give themselves up because they expect to be released into the country. And then last, lastly, uh, we'll finish you off in Texas. Take a look at these mug shots right here. Border Patrol in Del Rio sector reporting just as October 1st, their agents have arrested 68 convicted sex offenders who have crossed into their sector trying to sneak into the country. Of those 68, 62 of them were convicted of sexual crimes against children. That's 91% of these guys. Some of the crimes include multiple child rapes, multiple sexual assaults of children, and multiple child molesters. And back out your line, you know, just goes to show the, the, the contrast between a state like Texas and California. Texas has barbed wire all over the place, thousands of National Guard soldiers, Texas troopers down there helping out here in California. We're lucky if we see a border patrol agent every right. now and then. There's nothing. No California Highway Patrol, no California National Guard out here in the Pemba. Send it back to you. Just amazing. Uh, as this new reporting bit on this, so Bill, thank you very much. Bill Malouz in the Pemba, California. We'll update you and take you uh, to the state of Wisconsin, where we're going to be hearing from uh, the President Trump. This is a state that is as close as a tick right now. Uh, Joe Biden won it by 20,000 votes four years ago. Donald Trump won it by 20,000 votes over so about four years before that. And they're, well, they're essentially tied right now in that same state. That's how important it is and how much is on the line. Uh, speaking of on the line, when it comes to you and your buddy across the board, records for the S&P 500 today, a NASDAQ as technology stock world for their seventh straight record, the S&P 500 in case you're counting, up uh, for a 31st record of the year, the Dow not all that far record territory but his point is particularly technology that hope uh with retail sales slowing a little bit the federal reserve does more wiggle money so maybe get an interest rate cut done this year after all that is the hope anyway i should also point out that nvidia for those of you who like to follow from it is now the richest market cap company on the planet it is now worth more than microsoft just surpassed that but again you might want to break these things down in pencil because the three of them that is microsoft and apple and nvidia have all switched sides on who's number one for, for the day right now. The temper heating breeze makes sleep feel cool. So no more sweating all night. Three days. The temper breeze feels up to 10 degrees cooler all night long. During our July 4th day, save $500 on cooling temper breeze mattresses. Our biggest challenge? Uncertainty. Let's check it out. Keep it simple with clear up pressing. With the USB desk round advantage. The moon is the first fluoride free tool case I've ever found that actually works. My dentist is blown away with how clean and white my teeth are. My gums and teeth are so healthy, it's crazy. You can get the little toothpaste at Walmart and Target. Switch to Shopify. So you can build it better, and scale is faster, and sell more, much more. Take your business to the next nice. stage with a switch to Shopify. I'm actually going the last room for 190 bucks. I built the last room a week ago. I booked yesterday. Some sites panic you into booking that last room. Instead, Travaco compares hotel prices from hundreds of sites, so you can save up to $50 a night. Hotel, Travaco. Last year, with that inflation, we ran a promotion, cutting the price of the and so popular, 
we're doing it again. It's like a sequel that's actually as good as the original. Maybe better. Definitely not worse. Okay, it's exactly the same. What's up? Who are you? I'm your new job. Get in. What you really need in life is some freaking tool. Stop a little better job. During the dock, make this assignment. Get no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2024 dock brand vehicles. Go to dogs.com and hurry to your local dock dealer today. Swing states, Trump does seem to have a pretty solid lead uh, in those Sun Belt states. The Rust Belt states uh, are the three that Biden has to win. And by the way, if he wins all three, he, wins, he would then win by 270 to 268. So it's a ninth edge there. Right? Wisconsin does seem to be probably the most competitive. Yeah, I agree with you about it. I don't think, I suspect those remarks that Trump is alleged to have made 
which I think probably were taken out of context. I think he was talking about it in terms of it being a horribly run city, a democratic run city with all kinds of crime and other problems. I doubt that's a negative. Did you remember that the Republicans are hosting their, their convention there in just a few weeks' time? So it's going to get a lot of attention. There's going to get a lot of national media attention. It's going to get a lot of Republican attention. Uh, there'll be a new vice presidential pick, presumably that point. So I think all of that, and, and remember, but one thing I think we can definitely say is that Biden won't be making the mistake that Hillary Clinton made in 2016 when you'll recall very well, I'm sure, uh, Neil, that she didn't even campaign in Wisconsin. Um, assuming it was in the bag, and of course you lost it. So there's going to be a real battle. I think Wisconsin could well be the fundamental, the deciding point of the election. You know, um, we already know, Julia, about the 30 plus billion dollars raised uh, by Joe Biden and forces uh, with, with this big battle between Barack Obama and all these, uh, you know, scars. Uh, and we're already seeing that they're putting it to use as part of a $15 million ad campaign that's rolling out right now where the former uh, president is being targeted as a convicted felon. They're going to keep using that. They're going to keep look, looking at his legal problems. Isn't that a bit of a roll of the dice for them, though, Julian, seeing as you know, the president's own son also carries that label, convicted felon? I mean, it, it, it is a generation removed, but, but, but it's not totally removed. Yeah, it's certainly a risk, especially this close to the debate, which is just over a week. You know, I would imagine that if the Biden campaign is um, putting this in an ad, could be telegraphing what President Biden will say to attack Donald Trump in the debate. And if he calls Donald Trump a convicted criminal or a convicted felon, which he technically is, it's going to be very easy for Donald Trump to turn back at Joe Biden and say, well, you know, look at your son. He's also a convicted and so, um, you know, it, it's definitely a risk. We don't know how well that messaging will play. We have seen polling that would suggest that some independents, you know, are worried about this conviction and you know, are worried about how well it impacts Trump's ability to serve as president. Um, but it's certainly an act, uh, you know, a line that the Biden campaign is willing to go through with. We've heard President Biden, you know, off the you know, you know, those were fundraisers, or he reportedly also referred to Trump as that. So it seems like they're warming up and really trying to see how this message plays, particularly in those very important swing stage for those independent voters. Um, interesting. Jerry Baker, one thing I noticed that, uh, well, the Biden people, people do make note of the records of Wall Street's been hitting. They don't pounce it. They don't overly brag about it. Maybe they're concerned about how it looks. Great for Wall Street, not so great for Main Street. But it is sort of a conundrum, you know, uh, you know, Donald Trump in the day was routinely talking about records that were setting uh, 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 almost on a weekly basis and he's saying, uh, not so much the Biden thing. Well, the economy message, Neil, just doesn't work for Biden. And, you know, we've seen this. They have been talking up the economy a lot. And they're right. We have reasonably, we've had reasonable growth for the last few years. Unemployment has remained low. The economy has created a large number of jobs. But none of that, all of that pales into comparison, and you and I have talked about this many times, compared with prices. Everybody is very upset about how prices have gone up in the last three years. So we're kind of hammering away that message, whether it's about the economy overall or whether it's about the stock market in particular, is really not, is it really not working to them because it's so completely outweighed by what people can see every day when they go to the grocery store and see how much more money they're paying. They're not focused on, you know, the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones. They're focused on the fact that you know, food costs 20, 25 percent more than a few years ago. The fast food uh, prices have gone up in some cities by 100 percent in the last five years. So I think that message, you know, is just a losing one for Democrats, and they, they, it's pointless to them to keep trying to progress it. Or keep telling people that you're not doing it's not really all that bad. That's a that's a difficult kind of a, a trick to pull off. Um, guys, I want to thank you both very much, uh, Terry and Julia, on all of that. We are waiting for the for president, of course, we did see Wisconsin. I should point out as well the backdrop for all of this, not only the markets, uh, and it's not so much in Wisconsin that it's going to be the entire country. We've seen 260 million Americans are in the path of 90 plus degree temperatures uh, through the end of the week. Some of this going into next week. Uh, that represents uh, more than 80 percent of the U.S. population that will be feeling that. Now, some are better prepared for it, others not so much. They went by just a real
blender. How about five chairs? Cutting board? A farm cart. Of it. Budget? Bed, bath, and beyond. Start saving. Shop now. Bed, bath, and beyond.com. At Fisher Investments, we may look like other money managers, but we're different. How so? We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest, so we don't sell any commission based products. Then how do you make money? We have a simple management fee structured so we do better when our clients do better. The clients really come first, but not. Yes, we make them a top priority by getting to know their finances, family, health, lifestyle, and more. Wow. Maybe we are different. At Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. From pep in their step to shine in their coats, when people switch their dog's food to the farmer's dog, the effects can seem like magic. But there's no magic in health. It's just smarter, healthier pet food. It's amazing what real food can do. Yeah, your word is nightmare. Your car broke down. Now you're worried it's going to cost you a fortune to repair them. Unless you already call cars here. The legit number one auto protection company in the country. When you're protecting plan through car shield, the process is smooth like that. And then it will still just three steps. One, first, the tow truck takes your car to the shop. The cost of towing covers the investment of car shield. Next, you probably need to get around while your vehicle is being prepared, right? In position for two, employment. plans through car shield have rental car options too. Then comes the best part. Three, when you pick up your vehicle, we don't have a good repair bill to show Car Shield administrators get your truck prepared and pay directly to the shop. When you're back on the road, there's no worries. Call now. Get an affordable plan through Car Shield for your deal. Of course, when you call Car Shield, when you've got a small problem like a power window motor, it could cost a few hundred dollars, or a big problem like an engine or transmission, it could cost you thousands of dollars to take care of. Car Shield is the number one auto protection company in the country. Their administrators have paid out more than one billion in auto repairs. That's a billion with a B. Car Shield is the choice that gives you the Car Shield guarantee. Your rate never goes up, and your coverage never goes down, no matter how many claims. Look, it's an effort. As your car truck ages, the parts and components are gonna fail. It's not worth the risk. We will begin Car Car Shield. Waiting until your car breaks down is too late. Call Car Shield for coverage on up to 5,000 parts and get the Car Shield guarantee where your rate never goes up and your coverage never goes down, no matter how many claims you have. Call 800-991-1467. 800-991-1467. Well, forget about tip off the old block. Right now, NVIDIA is king of the block. It is now the most valuable market company world overtaking Microsoft. But that's just for now, though. These things do change. Isolated, depressed, oh, and immersed. That's how it felt to live with ladder and bowel incontinence. But that changed when my neurologist told me about that science therapy, a long-lasting solution that is really One day. Out. This is not another drug. And it works. Visit findrealrelief.com arrange an appointment with an expert physician to determine if axonics therapy is right for you, results and experiences may vary. Stop suffering with science. With so many choices on Booking.com, there are so many Tina Fey's I could be. So I hired body doubles to help me out. Allergy, Tina loves to tell me Rodeo Drive. Tina. What? Tina, you booked a to stay right this horse. Glenn Close? Millions of possibilities. You can book whoever you want to be. That's my line. Booking.com. Booking dot yeah. All right, we shut to about an hour ago. President Biden announcing this new policy shielding undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens from deportation. No doubt is a challenger. Donald Trump will be mentioning that, talking about that, maybe criticizing that. He is addressing the crowd in Wisconsin. Where polls show that is in the entire state with 10 electoral votes up for grabs. He and President Biden are statistically dead even. Donald Trump. Oh, and you know, I love Milwaukee. I was the one that picked Milwaukee, I have to tell you. I was the one that picked it. These Zion people that they say, oh, he doesn't like Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. I said, you got to fix the crime. We all know that. You got to 
make sure the election is honest. But I'm the one that picked Milwaukee and uh, the Democrats or the radical left lunatics, as I call them. What they say is that they're just so terrible. They lie, lie, lie. They have a horrible candidate. They have a candidate that has no clue, doesn't know where he is, and all they can do is lie. I love it. I'm the one that picked Milwaukee officially. So, and you have. Congressman in a meeting that we had recently where I said how much I like Milwaukee, they all came out, they said that's what he said, we can't help it, they're truthful people, but I just want to begin by saying hello Wisconsin, hello, we've had great success here, it's great to be back in this beautiful state with thousands and thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots, what a crowd, what a crowd, we're here to help months from now, we're going to win Wisconsin. We're going to defeat your radical left Democrat senator, one of the worst, one of the worst in the Senate. Nobody even knows she's a senator. I mean, frankly, she's not doing a good job representing. We have somebody that's going to be great. So, but we're going to defeat your senator, Tammy Baldwin. We're going to, we're going to elect Eric Hoffman of, of this area, by the way, who's a Great gentleman, and uh, spent a lot of time with him. He and his wife are incredible people. He's going to be a great representative. They're going to be great representatives of your state. <laughs> but we're going to elect him to the U.S. Senate. We're going to evict weak, failed, and incompetent Joe Biden. He's an incompetent person. From the White House. Uh, and quite simply, we are going to make America great again. Less than four years ago, our border was secure, inflation was nowhere to be seen, the world was at peace, and America was strong and respected. We were respected all over the world. None of this stuff would have been happening. This happened now with Russia and Ukraine and the attack on Israel. None of it would have been happening. We would have had a, and we wouldn't have had a thing called inflation. That would have been nice too. But it was a, a different place four years ago. They, but now we're going to make it better and bigger and stronger than ever before. But you had a president who put America first. I put America first. They don't put, they put America last. Under crooked Joe Biden, the world is in flames. Our border is overrun. Inflation is raging. Europe is in total chaos. The Middle East is exploding. Iran is emboldened, China is on the march, and the worst, most incompetent, most corrupt president in history is going to drag us into World War III. Other than that, he's doing quite a good job, don't you think? Joe Biden is humiliating our country on the world stage. He's actually humiliating us. You saw what happened this this weekend is uh, turning the United States into a total joke all over the world. First, he wandered off the G7 in Europe and the stage. He looked like he didn't know where the hell he was, but he didn't know where he was. He's blaming it now on AI. He's saying he doesn't know what AI is, but that's okay. Now so they're saying the media is manipulating. Oh, he's saying the media is manipulating. But that one, I have to stick up for the media, I have to tell you. He said the media is manipulating the pictures of him constantly not knowing where the hell he is. They do it just the opposite. They're making him look better. At the G7 in Europe, and he had to be rescued by other world leaders and pull it back. Then he bizarrely put his face on the Pope's forehead. What was that all about? That was weird. Vivek is here. That was weird, Vivek. Did you see the Pope? The Pope is like, what's happening? The Pope uh, didn't really know what was happening. He said, this is strange. Then he froze during the celebration of the White House lawn. Then Barack Hussein Obama had to grab his hand and lead him off the stage as though he were a child. I have to tell you, Obama could have handled that. He could have done it a little bit softer. He could have done it like, let's go, let's go. He didn't have to grab him and pull him off the stage. Oh, it's a good squad. Let's but do this. And, uh, I guess that was his primary purpose. He wanted to look good. He could have done a better job. In fact, the uh, the Biden people were very upset about that whole incident. But now, uh, yet, to be, yet to be discussed. But 
Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, good boy. Russia, Russia, Russia people, the laptop from hell people, the 51 intelligence agent people, they're the people that said all sorts of lies about military, about our great military, they make up stories about our military. It's uh, disgraceful what they can do, and they're so destructive to our country. They're the people that really destroy everything that they touch. That's why this November, the people of Wisconsin are going to tell Crooked Joe Biden, remember the apprentice. You're fired. You know, you've done a horrible job. You've done a horrible, horrible job. Worst president in history. Get out. You're fired. Get out. We can't get him out fast enough. I'm worried about the next one. Could end up in World War III with this person. Is the worst president ever. The Biden administration has been nonstop catastrophe. He has been a catastrophe. It's been a nonstop catastrophe. But one of Crooked Joe's most destructive moves yet is the lawless executive action he is taking today. You've been reading in the middle of the largest border invasion in world history. There's never been a border in, in the world that's like this border that we have where probably 17, 18 million people by now have entered our country. Let's save this. This looks awesome. Joe Biden is formally granting mass figure. He's going to formally grant and we'll catch you guys next time. All right. Peace out. To of the legal aliens that came into our country. And you have people, you have people that have been working for 10 years to try and come in legally and they just keep working under this program and delusion Illegals will be given immediate green cards and put on the fast track to rapid citizenship so, so they can vote. I think a lot of them are going to vote for me. Because if you look at the Hispanic population, if you look at the black population, they're voting for Trump. They're voting for Trump. You. You. Look at you. You. Thank you. <laughs> I like that person right there. But they give them free well, they give them welfare, they give them free health care, food stamps. Chain migration, chain migration, one of the catastrophic things, one of the many